Hey, hi there. Welcome to the Open Source Study, a place dedicated to open source code and software tutorial. Here we will show you the real power of open source project and save your money from going for paid softwares. So today we are going to start a new course on drone programming and that is from zero level to pretty advanced level. I know we all want to learn drone programming, but many of us don't know what drone programming is. I mean, yeah, it's related to writing programs and stuff. But what exactly is this? If somehow we try to start also, we still don't even know from where to start and how to start. We just hear the name drone programming and it feels like some advanced level stuff. But what if I tell you that you can make your own autonomous drone with the help of drone programming? I know you don't believe me and few of you may be thinking, oh, for that we need to know programming and must have a drone. But trust me, you don't need any drone or any kind of prior programming knowledge. And we will be using the open source softwares. So you don't need to spend a single penny. What all I want from your side is just few hours of your time. I mean dedicated time. Just follow the course, nothing else, because I will be explaining each and every single thing in detail. So let's first discuss what is drone programming. As the name suggests, it's programming your drone. Yes, we did it. Now we know what drone programming is. By the way, it is really programming your drone. But now the question comes, how do you program your drone? And that's what we are going to learn through this course. We will be learning how to program our drone for the most popular modes or features out there, like going from one wave point to another, return to home, follow me, automatic takeoff and landing and a lot of other interesting thing in autonomous drone and if you don't know what these modes are or anything just no need to worry stay tuned i will be explaining everything in detail when we start programming and again don't worry we don't need any drone for programming and testing we will be using only softwares throughout this course and at the end of this course i will show you how to implement the things or programming which we will learn through this course in the real drone, just for your reference. So this course will cover everything from programming to implementing your program script in the real drone. So are you guys excited for this? And on a serious note, I will be teaching you what I have learned in the last two years. So trust me, after taking this free course, you don't have to go to any place to learn drone programming. We will be doing every single thing from scratch and if you have any queries regarding anything, you can write it in the comment section. I will try to answer each and every single question. And the most important thing, please like and subscribe the channel if you find it interesting in any way because I need some motivation to make these videos. No, no, I'm just kidding. No, but I'm not. I'm serious. And one more thing. As this is the drone programming course, we are not going to discuss how drone works and all. If you want to know about the technical things, then please write it in the comment section. I will try to make different series where we can learn some technical related things in drone and also about some latest technology and stuff going on in drones. Here in this series, we will be learning all about programming and software related things. So let's get started. Let's make few things clear first. What is the overall view of drone system? There are basically three major parts of drone system. The first one is UAV or your drone which flies in the air. Okay, so here's the quick question. What is the difference between UAV and drone? Please write it in the comment section. Let's see who knows the answer. Then the second is ground control station from which a pilot is sending a command to drone. It can be a joystick alone or a software which sends the command to the drone like what to do, where to go and then comes the third system which is a communication link system. What is it exactly? It is basically a system through which your drone is connected with the ground control station. Okay, let's break these three systems further down into two categories. The one is software or firmware and second is hardware. So hold on on that. Let's first discuss what is the difference between software and firmware. Basically, there is a very minor difference in software and firmware. Software is just a piece of code or you can say instruction used by computer 
to perform specific tasks and allow users to interact with computer whereas firmware is a piece of software that is just stored on a hardware device in order to make it run properly so if i give you an example the best example is android so android is the firmware for our mobile phone hardware and the applications which we use on and on our mobile phone like whatsapp facebook instagram these are basically kind of softwares so that is the just minor difference between firmware and software okay so now in our case we don't have any hardware because they are very costly and as i promised we are not going to spend a single coin so forget about the hardware at least for now let's come to the firmware or software part what we are basically going to do is use some software for every part of our drone system let's discuss this system one by one first is drone it consists of many subsystems like motor esc propeller flight controller frame and some sensors based on mission requirement now here's the important thing we are only interested in flight controller of our drone because it's the brain of our drone and whatever programming we will be going to do in this series will be run in flight controller but let's see first what is flight controller i will explain you with a very simple example suppose you are flying a quadcopter and you want to fly high or make a turn or increase the speed so what what you will do you will either give the manual command through joystick or you can give a command through ground control station but who will calculate that what should be the speed of motor for making a particular turn or increasing the altitude and that's what the flight controller does it does all the processing and calculation and accordingly control all other subsystems again a small question what is the difference between flight controller and autopilot i know we all hear the these word flight controller autopilot so what is the difference between flight controller and autopilot okay i will answer is because i already asked you one question so one question in one video there is not much difference between them both doing both basically both are doing the same job which is controlling and flying a drone so just you know like keep in mind there is not much a difference whenever i will i will be referring a uh, autopilot or flight controller that means the both systems are same okay okay so let's talk about flight controller or autopilot software you can write a program for your own autopilot software if you want but here comes the power of open source software why waste time in writing thousands of lines of code when someone has already done it for you what is left for you to do is just make changes according to your need and that's it you are good to go and the thing is it's not bad to use open source software but it's the smartest way to do your work without spending any money or wasting time so i am going to use ardu pilot autopilot software and it is capable of controlling any vehicle like you know it can control conventional airplane quad plane multi rotors and helicopters and so many other things anyhow we are not going to use any hardware but we still should know what is the hardware for autopilot there are many hardware available for autopilot but for ardu pilot software the most compatible and preferable hardware in the world is pixo and it looks like this well pixo has its own separate autopilot software and we will be having a separate video on ardu pilot and pixo in which we will discuss everything about them in detail so stay tuned again now we know autopilot hardware and software but here comes the problem we are not going to use any real drone then how will we know that our drone will work or perform after when we run our code i mean how will we know that our drone is running good so here comes a need for some flight dynamics model of our drone and basically what is flight dynamics model a flight dynamics model is a simulation to predict how your drone will react in the real world and how is your drone stability a flight dynamics model will tell you everything about your drone dynamics and that's what we need to know right the dynamics of our drone after when we run our code like how our drone is going to behave in the real world when we run our code in this case we will be using sitl it is called software in the loop and it is a simulator kind of thing you can call it a virtual drone it has a flight dynamics model of many systems like copter rotor rover and many more 
now we don't have to spend weeks making our own drone just to test some dangerous code and you know end up crashing into someone's house okay now we have sitel which will replace our need of drone we have ardu pilot software which will replace our need of autopilot so you can say that our virtual drone is ready so let's talk about second system which is ground control station so first of all what is ground control station a ground control station is a you know a ground based hardware and software that allows uav operator to communicate and control a drone they can control the payload also with the help of ground control station so if i talk about ground control station hardware it can be your computer or mobile or tablet but we are here to learn about software there are so many open source ground control station software available on the internet for different platforms like there is a mission planner only for windows there is a qgs for ios and linux and there is a map proxy for only for linux and there is a tower and map pilot for tablets and mobiles okay the last thing we need to know is communication link system so the hardware for communication link system is basically a telemetry and for software uh, we will be using socket communication as we are going to run every software in the same system and the protocol we will be using the mavlink protocol for communication system uh, so what are the software and you know what are these protocols and all don't worry we will be having a separate video where we will learn about all of these in detail so again stay tuned okay so now we are clear with the overall view of drone system we also know the software and hardware of drone of our drone system but still something is missing like how actually we are going to program here because we can't simply make changes in the ardu pilot software it's a very huge open source software uh, which consists of 7 lakh code lines so here comes the need of some sort of api which can communicate to autopilot software what is basically a api it is a application programming interface which allows two application or software to talk to each other and that role will be done by drone kit basically a drone kit uses a python function that creates and send messages to your drone autopilot allowing you to control your drone from a python script for example you can write a python script to take off 10 meter and move to a particular location or follow a vehicle and and then with the help of drone kit you can directly run your python script or program in your drone so we are going to make a lot of python script or programming for our autonomous drone and we are also going to play with ardu pilot ground control station and lot of other softwares also so this is basically an introduction video and now we will be discussing each and every single system in detail in upcoming videos so again stay tuned good stuff is coming and this series will not only focus on drone programming but also helps you to understand the whole unmanned aerial system at the end of this series i will be showing you how you can implement all of this learning in your real drone i will give you one full drone kit free to one lucky person at the end of this course and for that you have to answer one simple question which i ask in every video and by the way i don't mind if you like subscribe and share this video too <laughs> just a promotion right okay so this that's it for this video i hope you really enjoyed the video and if you enjoy the video if you find it you know useful in any ways then please like subscribe and share the video